Okay, today's video, we're gonna talk about audience ads on Bing and how they can absolutely crush or destroy your Bing search ad campaign performance. I've talked about many times on this channel about how Bing ad campaigns actually can do really, really well. And if you're not doing Bing search ads, you're just throwing money down the toilet or, or throwing money into the trash or down, flushing it down the toilet if you're doing Google search ads already. And those are making money because if you can make money on Google search ads with set strategy there, you can move it over to Bing search and make money there. You may have to adjust what you're doing slightly on Bing in terms of what specifically what you're bidding on certain keywords as per what we're talking about taking the search campaigns that you have on Google, moving it over to Bing, but it will always provide you an additional stream or additional stream of profit for your company given you figure out what Bing search traffic for certain keywords are worth and what Google search traffic keywords and traffic from certain keywords are worth and you adjust your bid accordingly for that same keyword on Bing versus Google. But I'm not here to talk about how to get Bing to work or you know how Google you know uh, is how it compares to Bing. What I am going to tell you about is exactly what I said uh, audience ads how if or when you start doing Bing or if you're doing Bing now how to get the there's an immediate way if you haven't done anything or know actually what audience ads are to get the performance of your campaign up almost double on Bing just by doing this one simple thing that I'm going to share with you on this video. So I'll give you that what that thing is you can do, how to actually execute it, and then also just talk about audience ads as a whole. You know, of course, what it is, where it actually can come in useful uh, to be useful. And uh, from there, you may find some small use for it for some of you guys. For most of you guys, all you need is this information to stay away from it. You'll make more money on Bing, considerably more, just by staying away from it in general and knowing how to stay away from it, given Bing is actually makes it hard to avoid and are kind of tricky and that they kind of trick you into doing it. You think you're running a search campaign on Bing, really you're running a display campaign on Bing on other websites that Bing partners with where your display advertising can run, i.e. websites other than Bing, you know, .com or of course AOL.com or Yahoo.com which also you get through Bing search ads. So anyway, if you run Bing search ads now for your company and have to check out your, you have to check out your ad account and check for something at the bottom of the basic screen that you come to, audience ad total, which is at the, it's inside your account at the bottom of your account if you are on the campaigns menu. So in other words, if you log into your Bing account and you don't know anything about audience ads yet, you gotta, you should do it right now or right after this video. Go to your account, click on all campaigns, go to the bottom of the screen, look for something that says audience ad total, and see then, of course, you have to adjust your columns if you haven't done it yet to see your conversions for, for on your campaigns menu so you can see conversions by campaign. But at the bottom, it'll say audience ad total, which it'll say how much of what you're paying for is actually on Bing's display network versus how much you're spending on your Bing campaigns on Bing.com, which would be your Bing search campaigns. So. If you have conversion tracking, you'll notice probably 90% chance that the number of conversions, cost per lead, ROI on under the row or uh, row item, audience ad total will be much much worse than what that same cost per lead, cost per sale ROI is under the row that says search ad total. Okay, and with that you obviously can see right away how much money you've been throwing away on these thing, on these display ads that Bing has that they automatically get you to do when you start up a Bing search campaign. The same thing applies, by the way, if you set up a search campaign on Bing fresh by yourself through Bing's ad interface, 
if you import Google through the import tool that Bing has, you import your search campaigns from Google search and your Google account to your Bing account, these display network ads will be turned on automatically. It's been that way for a few months now to where you're on the display network on Bing automatically, even if you were on the display network on Google search and you weren't using so-called display network uh, or uh, display select ads. So uh, anyway, with that said, if you have that, you know, I've seen different accounts. We, we manage a bunch of different accounts here at our PPC firm. I've seen accounts where half of the money was going to just the display ads on this audience ad total, under, under audience ad total, which shows how much of your budget is going to audience ads. And of that, none of it's actually getting any sales. So, <laughs> which is ridiculous, right? Most of the time, it's only about a, between like 10% and a third, but there, I've, we've seen accounts where it's literally half of the budget going to that. And of the half, no sales. Some of the accounts we get sales actually from the audience ad total or audience uh, ad ne uh, or display network side of Bing ads. Uh, we actually do. For some of our accounts, it's actually okay to run the audience ad network or display network called the audience ads on Bing ads, uh, particularly on your brand campaigns is because that's where we see if, if our clients are that are running Bing, if they're getting sales through this audience ad network, they're getting it through the bit, the brand campaign specifically. So if you want to use it there, that that might be okay. And if you want to know if you should be running it as a whole, uh, of course, you can look at the bottom of your campaigns menu. And it'll show you what the how many sales and what your cost per lead is and all that, as I said, compared to your search ads. Uh, but if you are getting some, you, you see at the bottom of the campaigns menu, audience ads show a cost per lead. You're getting sales. The ROI is not the best. But if you're in that position, what you should do immediately after they're uh, doing that is you go to segment in that same menu and then go click on audience and then audience name. And what that'll do is it'll show you on each campaign how many sales you were getting from the audience ad network itself. So of the sales that you did get, which campaigns is it coming from? Is it coming from your brand campaigns if you have them or is it coming from a different campaign? So that the little bit of value that you know you are or were getting from audience ads you could preserve that and then just get rid of all the rest of the stuff. And so I could understand why on the brand campaigns it works because if there's a page out there about, you know, of course, about your brand, you want to be on that page as far as advertising. And I talk about that uh, specifically on other, I have talked about that in other videos on this channel, just running display ads to, on different pages where you have reviews and stuff, that's a really smart move just to get your ad there as well. Somebody else is talking about you, you want your ad there because that's a qualified visitor to go after. Um, respectively and beyond that, you know, Bing ha can get you perhaps on like yahoo.com, not a, um, you know, t in, in embedded within the content. If somebody searched for you on yahoo.com, you want your ad to be there. And there'd be a, an example of how a brand campaign on the display network will come about, if you will. But anyway, you look to see if you, what, you know, where the sales are coming from. And then within there, if, if you see, okay, I have 10 campaigns, this one campaign actually has sales under the audience ads and here's what the ROI is. On that particular campaign that has an audi under where it says the audience and you have a sale, you can adjust what you're willing to pay for the audience ads themselves so that the sales you're getting from audience ads on that campaign actually match the ROI that you're getting from the search ads on that campaign. So you're getting whatever you're getting through the audience ad network, you're not paying more per conversion or, or per sale than you are with the search ads and then just accepting whatever trickle of traffic you can get from the audience ads and to add to the overall profitability of your Bing account what it can provide. When you do, by the way, uh, you're in the campaigns menu, and like I told you, and you go to uh, under segment and then you to split rows on your list of campaigns and then click show audiences. 
under each campaign, it's going to show you the audiences in which, you know, of course, that you got the, uh, the, the conversions from. So it's not going to, at least, or specifically at the bottom of your account, like I said before, under the, under the campaigns menu, at the bottom of your account, it's going to say audience ads total to see all campaigns, what the audience ad network did for you. On each individual campaign, it's not going to say audience ads total anymore. It's actually going to say the name of the audience. If there's an audience there though, you know it's from the audience ad network because there is no audience for search ads. So it, it'll be like home and garden, this many conversions, and um, you know, like you know, pets, pet lovers, or whatever, and then the number of uh, conversions there. So you add up all the different audiences that have sales, and then that's going to be your total audience ad network sales for that particular campaign, if you will. Uh, or audience, you know, of course, add up all the sales from all the audience that are listed there under that campaign. Then you'll know the total audience ad network sales for that campaign to decide. A, do you want to do it at all? And B, how much should you be paying for the audience ad network specifically versus the search ad traffic for that campaign so that you don't have a, a dip in the ROI or the cost per conversion that you want in your campaign or the, in that, and or that you need to be profitable with your campaign in general and to, to meet your and you know cooperate with your profit margins that you have at your company. So once you have investigated you know, if, it, if you have no audience ad sales, it's easy. You just are going to eliminate all of it. And, and if you do have sales, you investigate wh which campaigns have them and what you should be paying, you know, for the audience ad network traffic for each campaign. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to divide the average cost per conversion for that campaign as a whole, if you will, specifically divided by the audience ad network cost per conversion of what that from the, the different audiences themselves that you got conversions on that particular campaign and then you'll figure out of course what percentage uh, less the cost per conversion was than the total of the campaign then you're going to know the bid adjustment you can apply you know the negative bid adjustment you can apply for the audience ad network traffic for that campaign so that the audience ad network traffic you get for that campaign will actually get you the ROI that the search traffic does. It'll, you'll get less audience ad traffic but at least the stuff you get that's profitable and versus just shutting it off and not getting any of those sales from the audience ad network that you've already paid all this money to just discover if audience ad network will get you any sales. Now you're just going to take advantage of that data versus just shutting it off in which you paid to get that data now and paid to know where sales potentially can come from on the audience ad network, you're going to exploit that information. So anyway, beyond that, you can actually, to ex if you haven't had any sales on the audience ad network, you're just going to simply go into each campaign and shut it off. And the way that you do that is you click through, you go to the settings menu within your campaign. You have to do this on each campaign the settings menu of that campaign and then you're going to go down to audience ads within the settings menu and then you're going to put a bid adjustment on it decreased by 100% and that'll shut off essentially there's no shut off but you can you can with a negative 100% adjustment you basically won't get any audience ad traffic anymore on that campaign and then of course like I said you have to do that for every campaign on the campaigns where you have sales and you've divided by the average cost per conversion by the cost per conversion that the audience ad network is providing for you, you figure out a, a bid adjustment to apply to the audience ad traffic for that campaign so the audience ad traffic gets you a similar cost per conversion that the search traffic does. You're going to go into that campaign then and you're going to decrease by the percentage that you just came up with, i.e. average cost per conversion divided by you know, what the audience ad traffic cost per conversions provided you. And then again, like I said, you'll continue to get, you know, conversions from that audience ad traffic for that campaign at a decent cost moving forward. So, and basically with that, when you look at your data to decide your bid adjustment there, make sure you use as much time frame as you can in which you have your maximum level of data. Um, to know when the, of course, um, if you've had your Bing campaigns going for a long time, you're going to make sure that 
of that, you don't go back time frame wise further back than when you started first getting the audience at network traffic because you'll get a more accurate bid adjustment actually limiting the time frame in which you are looking for the cost per conversion on the search traffic to compare it to the cost per conversion on the audience ad network traffic to get a better cost per or a better bid adjustment given the further back you go in terms of time frame the cheaper bin, bing traffic has been the cost per click on su uh, google search and bing search traffic has you know went up over the years to match inflation and just the market uh, demand and stuff so you you don't want to go back any further than you than you need to there and respectively it hasn't been around for a long long time uh, prior to making this video uh, it, itself i didn't see exactly if between accounts uh, each account that when it, it started so i can give you a hard date of exactly set your time range uh the, set the time range on your account to this to be able to figure out for your bid adjustment, what your bid adjustment should be for the audience ad network traffic itself for each campaign. So I'm going to let you go ahead and just you know okay you know go back and do you know by month see where the audience ad traffic started basically and then go there. So I don't give you possibly wrong advice there. Uh, it's about six months to a year that they've been going out with the, had this program now here so far. Um, just to give you a general ballpark but anyway that's audience ad or audience ads itself um, again if you're running Bing search ads you are paying for audience ads unless you've already created a negative 100% bid adjustment on the audience ad part of the settings on each campaign inside your Bing account your, each search campaign itself and so you definitely should look into this. This could certainly be eating into upwards of half of your budget and therefore double the ROI in your campaign with just one simple adjustment that could take you 15 minutes to do. Uh, it was a big enough of an of a issue and I know that I wanted to bring it up on this channel and that yeah, I don't see too many people talking about. So I wanted to get the word out there. I, and like I say on this channel, I'm trying to give you information that stuff that pitfalls as far as also stuff that's working so you can be able to have that information without having to go through the trouble and the heartache yourself to get it and capitalize on the millions of dollars of ad spend that we're spending at our agency on any given basis to be able to acquire this information we share with you on this channel. And so anyway, if you like the video and appreciate you know, what you've learned, I would appreciate it if you could give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel as we have a ton of other uh, information on this channel about other great strategies and stuff that we're doing that we'd like to share with you and can make you a lot of money with PPC. We also have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog where I've personally written the how to build campaigns and guarantee essentially results with those campaigns, how to you know beat your competition with the, with the setups that that you're doing in that we have to guarantee results for our clients at our agency and I show you physically how I set those campaigns and strategies up so you can replicate them for yourself as well. And so if you want to learn on a more step-by-step -step basis other than you know like on this channel we're giving you high-level overview stuff you can find extra information there and might also see a lot of good value for yourself and make some money for yourself doing some research there as well. If you have any questions about audience ads uh, anything that you should do to be able to, you can't figure out or see or find what I gave you in terms of information here or, you know, things that I, you think I should cover covered and didn't, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a day or two time. And so with that, I'll wrap it up with that. Hope you enjoyed the info and I'll see you on the next one where I'll have another great strategy for you to be able to execute on and make some more money with your PPC.